today we'll be visiting Eugenia at her new fitness studio, so let's go! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and I have a special guest with me here today, Eugenia Bay. <laughs> Let's get back to you first mm. because like suddenly you pop up on my channel, right? People may be like oh, confused who you are or like what is this? <laughs> uh, who is this? So tell us a little bit about yourself, mm. like your background, each, each sex location. <laughs> <laughs> I am Eugenia Bay. Mm -hmm. Ma Le Shi. Very cute. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Little horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bei in Chinese is Ma. And then I'm 25 this year. Okay, very young. Uh, I'm from Singapore. Singapore? Are you sure. Confirm. Okay. No accent. <laughs> so I was previously a full time dancer. I was with a local dance company. It's called Re Dance Theatre. Was called. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, during that time when I was still dancing, I actually got trained and certified to be a Pilates instructor. So I have officially taught for five years now. Cheers, mates. Did you like um, do primary school, secondary school? Of course not. Then go NAFA after that. Yeah. <laughs> we thought straight away like from NAFA. Like when I was young, I also like, went to NAFA. But it was just like a side to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The school of young talent. Yeah, young yeah. talent. You can be a young talent. You're still young, yeah. Don't tell people our age. I mean, like, unless they watch that and then they find this video five mm -hmm. years later and like. <laughs> How did you actually become a Pilates instructor or know that you will become a fitness instructor? Like mm -hmm. that? So basically, before I actually got certified, mm -hmm. I was teaching baby belly. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my yeah, very cute. <laughs> Basically, that's my life for like four years. I was doing that as a part-time job. Okay. And uh, when they came to Pilates, it was also because in Nafa it was part of our cross training. Mm -hmm. So my lecturer actually brought us to my previous studio okay. to do a summer program. When I went back to school, the director actually contacted me and said, like, "Hey, we want you for this job." Ah. Uh, then after that, yeah, I committed for the next. Yeah. So four she actually. Years. Um, told me that um, she was taking her certs to become a certified instructor because a lot of people out there actually teach without a proper cert. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, so how was that journey like for you? Mm. Was it difficult? What challenges do you face? Mm. Definitely very difficult because... Uh, Is it like taking a driving test? I felt like two times or three times. Like I know it's not easy even though... <laughs> You, you still feel for oh, fast already? No. I feel and I feel last Christmas by the way and I decided that I didn't want to do it. No more heartbreaks. <laughs> no more <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah, so is it as difficult as passing a driving test or is it even more difficult? But you did it, right? Yeah. I think it's more difficult because there's a series of exams that I needed to take. Mm. So the first one that I had to take was actually like more theory stuff. Like, uh, my anatomical stuff. I need to know the body. I need to know how the muscle moves. Like which part is what connects yeah. to what? What connects to what? What like links punch to here, what? here, 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 yeah. come, come. Yeah. Like, here, here. Yeah, yeah. Like, once I cleared that theory part, and for every single exam before I can take it, I have to clock in certain hours. So it will go up from 60 to 120 hours, something like that. Wow. And then I need to go for a clearance exam, like a practical exam. Then I have to sit for another theory exam. So, yeah, during that period when she was sitting for all her exams, right, I could tell like she was very stressed because we like have known each other for about three, four years already. Facebook says so. Yeah, because Facebook says so. <laughs> it's real if Facebook <gasps> says so. <laughs> yeah, and then like she was just like very, like she didn't come out very often. Was just maybe like studying very hard, yeah. practicing, like clocking in her hours. So I could see all the hard work that she has put into mm -hmm. to what she was today. Thanks! Support! How is Pilates different from yoga? Is it same? Is it different? Mm -hmm. Like everybody still think I teach yoga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, by the way. Yeah. I don't. But interestingly enough, mm -hmm. 
Gyrotonic is was influenced by yoga. Uh, Pilates, right? One of the main difference is that we have machines. That is just one of the main difference. Pilates um, is more how do I put it? Isolated in form of like the movements and things like that. So you see a lot of repetition on like maybe just the arms and then maybe just the legs. Yeah. Then for yoga, I believe there are props similar to mat pilates so people get confused especially when it comes to going for group classes going for mat pilates they find that like eh, actually like about the same I you know? did one pilates class yeah. before but I've done a lot of yoga classes I find that it's very different mm. actually yeah. like for pilates class right there will be points where you'll be like shivering mm. just from one single movement you'll be like ah, what the hell is going on whereas yoga is um, very zen mm. More spiritual, yeah. It has a more spiritual aspect to it, and Pilates' main focus is always on alignment. Okay. So it focuses more on bringing your body back to what we call the neutral. You really think of balancing out your body. So I have clients who have like uh, scoliosis yeah. and things like that. So generally, what we do is that we modify the exercises specifically for different people with different body types, and it's good for all ages. For Pilates, right, is using the reformer yeah. compulsory? No, but the thing about the machines, right, is that um, it actually provides modification. Uh, so if say, say, for example, somebody has like knee issues, I can let them sit down and then they can just push against the machine and then I can change the weights, the setting. So it's not just for people with issues. If you are just an athlete or like somebody who is just trying to, you know, challenge yourself, then I can of course increase the weights and things like that. But of course, only to the point where you're still able to maintain good alignment. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people think that like going heavy means good. Yeah. But then they find that they're not able to balance because they just keep working in the superficial muscles. So. Yeah, so you see like her body is very toned actually. There's no like bulging muscles or certain like yeah. um, very like quantum like bodybuilder <laughs> that kind of look. It's still very like lean. fit. Lean, yeah. Lean is the word. Lean and fit. Now we're gonna introduce to you what looks like a torture machine or for like BDSM. <laughs> but I really have no clue like what this thing does. So this is a, it's called a V2 actually. So it's a reformer with a virtual Cadillac and then you can do some exercises there. Like what? You can do some arm work and then sometimes if I want to, I can pull this out. It's not like shopping like And then I attach and then you can just like... Oh! Yeah. It's like the arm and the playground then the... <laughs> no, yeah. uh, almost, almost close enough but not really. Wow, okay. but it looks like 10 times better. Yeah. Yeah, stay in here. 
Mary, Ryan, Reynolds, there's so many names. And Shaq, Channing Tate, uh, Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Yeah. Okay, Mike. Then we're not going to be able to do the easy stuff. Uh, I, I don't want to suffer. Yeah. I don't know which one is worse, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Why are all like my friends? Uh? I think it's fake. Chris Hemsworth. Oh, I'm getting all the Chris. And then. Benjamin K. Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Robert Park. Okay. Do you like accounting? Like, what's that called? Necrophilia. What's that? Like you sex a bit person. Like you sex a bit person. Necrophilia. Yeah. Never heard of that. Google it, sister. I don't, I don't want to know. Ben King, I'm gonna shoot, okay? Because also friend and also got girlfriend. <laughs> Not gonna touch her. Chris Hemsworth is tall. Oh, he's, he's, he's tall. He's, he's like tall. not tall. He's so tall, tall la. But he's the tall. <laughs> yeah, I saw his IG. He's like so sweet with the families are married. Ah. Then I guess I have to go with Robert Pattinson. <laughs> vampire sex! No, but then, okay, before vampire, he was Harry Potter, so that's fine. I mean, in Harry Potter. In Harry Potter, he went turn off, eh? No, man. Actually, vampires were turn off. Unless yeah, you like that kind of guy. I don't know. One time is okay. One time is okay. I was just good. I feel so troubled. Like, why is she making me play this? <laughs> last, last, uh, Snoop Dogg!